Hello and welcome to this video. Today I am going to continue with my little series of customizing my Nintendo DS game cases. And today's games are The Legend of Zelda and Professor Layton. I'm starting out with The Legend of Zelda and I'm going to draw the most iconic weapon in the game by far, which is of course the Master Sword. So I'm starting out with uh, the background and I wanted to make it a bit leafy, kind of in the woods, hidden. But not with too much detail, so the sword will still be in the foreground and be the main part. So I started out my journey with Legends of Zelda on my mom's NES with the first ever Zelda game and I thought it was a lot of fun. So when I saw the like kind of Nintendo stylus type ones, so Spirit Tracks and Phantom Hourglass, I just had to try them and my first one actually was Phantom Hourglass. Spirit Tracks is not my favorite, although some of the mechanics in the dungeons are really great, but Phantom Hourglass story-wise and just with how you explore the world per ship and with how you fight definitely is to this day one of my favorite Zelda games and I actually love the mechanics. And then they came out with the 3DS and of course the iconic remakes of Marjora's Mask and Ocarina of Time and I invested hours in them. And I know this is a bit controversial but I actually love the Water Temple. I think it's an amazing dungeon and I love the music and it was just so much fun to play as a child and even now I don't know how many times I restarted the game trying to discover new secrets and stuff and of course my favorite tune from the Zelda series is the Song of Storms. It's just so catchy. Now game-wise Majora's Mask um, I didn't like as much uh, from the dungeons and from the mechanics, but the story and just the darkness in Termina is just amazing. I love that. It felt scary, but also mysterious at the same time. And although I definitely struggled a bit more with that game than I did with Ocarina of Time, it's still a lot of fun to play in trying to figure out how to get all the masks and how to finish all the side stories. And of course we have games like A Link Between Worlds, which was quite a lot of fun. Couldn't really get into the multiplayer Zelda games, mainly because um, most of my friends didn't have it. So I tried to play it alone, which is quite difficult. Um, so yeah, not, not my favorite, but A Link Between Worlds also was quite fun. It had like a similar mechanic to Minish Cap on some of the old all the other Zelda games where you explore the overworld a bit more freely and just are limited by the items you get. I guess also similar to Link's Awakening. Uh, then again, most of the more greater titles came out for the Wii and Wii U, like Skyward Sword and my favorite of all time, Twilight Princess. And of course we have Breath of the Wild, which I really like and hopefully soon Tears of the Kingdom, which I'm really excited about to explore the vast worlds of Hyrule again. Now back to the painting. Um, I'm just shading the master shirt, making it look a bit more three-dimensional and um, I know it looks chunky and I'm quite bothered by that too. It just was because, you know, I missed the Zerg and then I had to make it a little bit thicker of course but I am definitely going to fix that in a second because it was bothering me way too much and the proportions were off. But so far um, besides the proportions I'm actually really happy. I think it definitely looks like the Master Sword and I like how it pops out from the background with the blue and the green. Now to fix it I decided to give the blade a little bit of a glow. So I just went in with a light blue and white and then I'm covering it again with the background colors because it was way too overpowering. So it still has a light glow but definitely not as noticeable that I tried to fix something here. 
and this proportion definitely fits way better. It's still not perfect, <laughs> granted, but it's definitely way more like an actual sword and not like, yeah, whatever the chunkiness was I drew before. And with that, the Legend of Zelda site is finished. Now, for the Professor Layton side, you might see the background. I actually started out by trying to blend out the different colors of every single game, but it was way too busy, so I just went with a simple red, blue and gray stable background that kind of blending in. And I'm just putting on the Professor Layton hat logo with one of my silver pens. I actually also really love the Professor Layton series because it's so different, you know, you have all these riddles so you're kind of working with your brain a lot but in a fun way because the stories are mysterious and you're not always knowing what will happen next because you, you change from many different places and many different things that happen. My first game actually was The Lost Future, which is absolutely heartbreaking and that just let me spiral into the worst world of Professor Layton games. So afterwards I of course got all of the other ones, Call of Phantom, uh, Pandora's Box, uh, Mysterious Village and such and they're just amazing. Don't love the new ones as much, but that just you know, fold with the story a little bit. But the riddles still were lots of fun to play in those ones too. And I'm really happy that they made it a long series because, you know, the games are just so immersive and I couldn't stop playing them when I started. I spent hours and hours just playing them, solving riddles, trying to progress in the story and definitely also replaying them. They are just so much fun and you know the secrets and having a detective kind of like Sherlock Holmes but a bit more gentleman and a bit more I don't want to say human <laughs> but uh, emotion wise human definitely is a lot of fun and you know it was definitely a great series that I can recommend it's not as huge here I found out than it is um, in other countries but you know, it is one of the greater Nintendo series and there is quite a lot of games to it, so I can really recommend it. And with that, we are finished with the case and I have to say I absolutely loved it. I didn't go with any characters, instead I went with some iconic things from the game, which, you know, with the Zelda, the Master Sword and with the Professor Lightning game, the hat which, you know, you have in every game and it's shown before every riddle, so I just had to add this. Very simplistic, but I really like it and it shows me which games are inside of here. And it, I think it's just great. Anyways, let me know in the comments down below. What do you think of these game series? Have you ever played them? And which game of these series is your favorite? Now, I'm gonna also varnish this, of course, but I'm gonna wait after this video, it shouldn't change much. I just, you know, struggle a bit with the reflection when I'm trying to photograph it for the videos, so I'm not showing that in the video, but it shouldn't change the appearance much since I'm using a matte varnish like I used with the other one. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed watching this and I hope you're having a great day. Bye!